The Olmec civilization flourished in ancient Mexico during the preclassical, formative, Mesoamerican era, spanning roughly from 1200 BCE to 400 BCE. Situated in the Gulf of Mexico region, modern-day Veracruz and Tabasco states, the Olmecs left an enduring legacy that influenced later Mesoamerican societies. Their cultural features included monumental sacred sites, colossal stone sculptures, ball games, the consumption of chocolate, and reverence for animal deities. The Olmecs' influence extended widely, reaching as far as present-day Nicaragua and beyond by 1200 BCE. However, many Olmec sites faced deliberate destruction of their monuments between 400 and 300 BCE. The Olmec civilization is shrouded in mystery, starting with their name, known as Rubber People, Olmec, by the Aztecs, their true identity remains unknown due to limited archaeological evidence. Despite this uncertainty, they documented their gods and religious practices using symbols. Though the exact meaning of these symbols is debated, they indicate a structured religious system involving a priesthood. The Olmecs practice diverse religious activities like sacrifices, cave rituals, pilgrimages, offerings, and ball games. They also constructed pyramids and displayed a fascination with mirrors. These religious practices significantly influenced successive Mesoamerican civilizations until the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century CE. The Olmec civilization thrived by utilizing the fertile coastal regions along the Gulf of Mexico. They cultivated crops like corn and beans, taking advantage of the region's abundant water supply. Additionally, they gathered local plant foods, seed life such as turtles and clams, and palm nuts. This resourcefulness allowed them to generate an agricultural surplus. Around 1200 BCE, significant urban hubs emerged, including San Lorenzo, the earliest, La Venta, Laguna de los Cerros, Tres Zapotes, and Las Limas. San Lorenzo, strategically positioned to avoid flooding, gained prominence between 1200 and 900 BCE, becoming a trade control point. They engaged in trade using commodities like obsidian, jade, serpentine, mica, rubber, pottery, feathers, and polished mirrors made from ilmenite and magnetite. San Lorenzo's advanced culture is evident through mound structures, potentially early ball courts, carved basalt drains, and the Red Palace with its red painted floors and workshops. Around 900 BCE, San Lorenzo faced intentional destruction, while La Venta began thriving, eventually becoming the new capital and supporting a population of around 18,000. Notably, the city layouts of San Lorenzo, La Venta, and Laguna de los Cerros showcased bilateral symmetry. La Venta even featured Mesoamerica's first pyramid. The religious centers of these sites were meticulously planned, exemplified by La Venta's symmetrical buildings along a north-south axis, guarded by colossal heads placed at strategic points. A grand ceremonial step pyramid, sunken plaza bordered by tall basalt columns, and two smaller pyramids slash mounds were characteristic elements. This precise architectural alignment influenced later Mesoamerican cultures, emphasizing the significance of building arrangement. Yet, both San Lorenzo and La Venta experienced a deliberate destruction of their monuments between 400 and 300 BCE. Although the exact details of Olmec religion remain somewhat mysterious, ongoing archaeological discoveries shed light on some crucial aspects. The Olmecs seemed to hold a deep reverence for natural locations that served as connections between the realms of the sky, earth, and the underworld. Caves, for instance, were believed to lead to the underworld, and mountains with springs and caves offered access to all three dimensions. El Manat, Chalcatzingo, and Oxtotitlan were significant mountain sites for the Olmecs. A fascinating element of Olmec culture was their penchant for combining animals to create extraordinary creatures. A prime example is the were-jaguar, a hybrid of a human and a jaguar. This creature, perhaps symbolizing their supreme deity, demonstrated their imaginative approach to spirituality. The Olmecs' gods' names are largely unknown, but their representation often corresponded to natural phenomena like rain, the earth, and particularly maize. These gods are often referred to by numbers, such as god Vi, due to the lack of specific names. Animals held special significance in their environment, particularly those atop the food chain like jaguars, eagles, caimans, snakes, and even sharks. The Olmecs associated these creatures with divine beings and possibly believed that influential rulers could transform into these formidable animals at will. One notable figure was the sky dragon, indicating the Olmecs' devotion to celestial elements. They also believed that four dwarves supported the sky, potentially representing the cardinal directions. These concepts, along with other Olmec deities, later became central to Mesoamerican religions. The Olmec civilization left an astonishing artistic legacy, most notably in the form of colossal stone heads. These remarkable sculptures, carved from basalt, each exhibit distinct facial features, suggesting they were meant to portray actual rulers. These stone heads, towering up to nearly 3 meters in height and weighing around 8 tons, are a testament to the Olmec's extraordinary craftsmanship. The stones used for these sculptures were often transported over vast distances, sometimes up to 80 kilometers, 
potentially using large river rafts. 17 colossal stone heads have been discovered, with 10 of them originating from San Lorenzo. These depictions of rulers often include protective helmets, possibly from warfare or the ball game. Some even feature jaguar paws hanging over the forehead, possibly symbolizing a jaguar pelt worn as a sign of both political and religious authority. Interestingly, these sculptures only depict the heads, which could be due to the belief in Mesoamerican culture that the soul resided solely in the head. Another enduring record of Olmec culture lies in rock carvings and paintings, often found near cave entrances. These depictions frequently portray seated rulers, like at Oxtotitlan, where a figure dons a green bird suit, or at Chalcatzingo, where a ruler sits on a throne amidst a maze landscape. Cave rituals are also depicted in paintings at various sites, such as Kakawaski, Huslawaka, and Oxtotlan. Jade and ceramic were favored materials for sculpture, with some exceptional wooden pieces remarkably preserved in the bogs of El Monati. A significant jade carving is the Kuntz Axe, a ceremonial axe head now housed in the American Museum of Natural History in New York. It was meticulously carved to represent a were-jaguar creature, and intriguingly, the carving was accomplished using only jade tools, then polished with a jade abrasive. The Olmecs demonstrated a fascination with animals in their artwork, particularly creatures of great power like jaguars and eagles. Curiously, they often buried their sculptures, including larger ones, which might have held ritual significance, perhaps as a way to preserve memory or in some form of ceremony. The Olmec civilization's impact reached far beyond their heartland, leaving a significant mark on the cultures they interacted with throughout Mesoamerica. Their influence, particularly in the realms of ceramic and jade sculpture, extended to distant places like Teopantequinitlan, located about 650 kilometers away from the core Olmec territory. Notably, the imagery and deities prominent in Olmec art and religious practices had a lasting impact. Deities such as the Sky Dragon, a unique creature resembling a caiman with fiery eyebrows, and the Feathered Snake God, found in Olmec iconography, would later reappear in similar forms in subsequent religions. The significance of the Snake God is particularly noteworthy, as it underwent transformations into major gods like Kukulkan for the Maya and Quetzalcoatl for the Aztecs. This artistic and religious influence, combined with the architectural elements of precisely aligned ceremonial areas, monumental pyramids, rituals involving sacrifice, and ball courts for games, set the foundation for the cultures that followed. The Olmecs, with their enigmatic origins and culture, served as vital pioneers in the Mesoamerican world, leaving a legacy that profoundly shaped the course of subsequent civilizations.